Hello, hello, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel, The Cheryl Hubbard Show. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Thanks for joining me. Glad you could be here. Um, glad you could join me. So glad you could come. Uh, this is The Cheryl Hubbard Show. So glad you could be here today. Um, just want to talk about a few things today. But first, I want to, um, uh, I want to give honor to God. I want to make sure the light goes on. I want to give honor to God. God, thank you for waking me up this morning. God, thank you for starting me on my way. Uh, God, thank you for all the many blessings that you have brought uh, into my life. God, thanks for my family. God, thank you for my, you know, my family, all my family, my cousins, my uncles, aunts, you know. God, thank you for my YouTubers, my viewers. Viewers, thank you for keeping all of us safe. And, um, you know, during these trying times, but, uh, this is what today I just want to talk about, um, you know, um, some ideas, some YouTube, uh, channel ideas, YouTube video channel ideas for the day, you know, so you want to start a channel, you want to get monetized, um, so, um, what, uh, you know, what are some good ideas that you can, uh, you know, you can display on your channel. So there's so many different ideas. A lot of people out there, I mean, I watch a lot of YouTube channels. People, you know, they are, uh, you know, displaying their business, their business, uh, what they do on a daily basis on their businesses, uh, in their business, businesses, you know, somebody, I mean, you know, you're making, uh, you could be making, uh, say for instance, you are, you are, you're making cakes, you're making cupcakes, you know, you display and that, that'd be a good, That'd be a good uh, channel. That's a good channel idea. You're, you're making cupcakes. You're making all different types of cakes, and you know you you know you take the camera into your shop, and that could be a good channel. Uh, represent that could be a good channel for uh, you know representing your business. Uh, you're making you know lip gloss. Uh, whatever you're doing, you're making wigs. You're making lip gloss. You you know you're selling t-shirts. Uh, whatever business idea you have, whatever business you're running, so that would be a good you know. That would be some good videos for your ch for your channel, you know, displaying your business. Even in the, what if you have a, a new baby, you know, you want to bring people into your home to see how you take care of your baby on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, that would be a good, you know, you take care of your baby, uh, or you could be a gamer, you know, somebody that's playing video games all the time and they know, you know, all the ins and outs, how to get to the next level of that particular game before they go on to the next level, that would be... That's a nice channel idea. Uh, makeup. You see a lot of uh, people doing makeup videos, you know, show you how to put your makeup on, uh, show you how to put it on, and then maybe have a couple of, you know, a few people that, you know, you can practice on. That would be a good video. Those would be some good videos. And also, um, yeah, that would be a good video. And uh, even, even trying on clothes, trying on coats and dresses, and, you know, that's a good video, but you have to... Be consistent with having different ideas and new ideas for different videos, you know. So that's just a few that I was just throwing out, you know, there. So, and um, I used to do, uh, you know, had my business. I was making wigs, selling bundles, making wigs, and all that. So I did do some of those on my uh, previous uh, uh, YouTube channel. But I think I, you know, I changed up from that because I want what I want to do is rebrand my business and have a whole new product line so when i bring that to you all uh you know i want to have uh you know a different product line different brand different business name i want a brand totally different and i want to bring it to my new youtube channel uh the cheryl hubbard show and um so let's get started i have uh as always i do have my uh you know my little la la this is um I, I like to have something, you know, to, you know, when you're doing a lot of talking, you might want to, uh, uh, you know, just make sure your mouth don't get dry. So these are my, you know, my little balloons. But, um, so what I do, shake this up a little bit. So this is a different flavor right here. This is a, this is a berry. This is wild berry. Wild berry. Mm-hmm. 
So, wow, very. So, yeah, so, uh, building up your YouTube channel. So, I was told, you know, I wasn't told, but I heard somebody say, you got to think about your channel as, you know, think about it as a channel like a regular channel. Like, you look when you turn the TV and you see those popular channels on CBS, ABC, you see those channels, you know, they're doing pretty good things. You know, you might watch uh, uh, Wheel of Fortune, that, that's on a certain channel, uh, Family Matters, you know, different shows like that. You know, so you got to treat your channel like a business. You know, good content, good content, and that way you can build those views up. So I'm still trying to build my views up, and I'm still trying to be creative. So I'm trying to be creative, so it takes a while, so... Uh, I have about 100 and some videos so far, but I have to I'm trying to get my views up and my subscribers up. I'm trying to always come up with new ideas. So on a daily basis, I'm doing research. And I did a video, I believe, a couple of videos on uh, how to buy a house with no money down. So I do have that video and uh, a couple of videos, I believe, on that subject. And then I think uh, I have uh, about... Three videos, I believe, on a book, you know, a couple books that I wrote. So I did a video on that. But I want to keep on doing, you know, uh, videos, uh, you know, interesting. Interesting, entertaining, educational. And I did, you know, I've been working on some music too. So but this is just something I've been messing around with. So uh, my music, uh, I do want to do a remix for my uh, two songs that I wrote. So what I'm going to do is... um. I want to do a remix for that, and I also want to put that on my channel. So let me get started with these. I think it's, uh, it says 100, 100 best YouTube video ideas. So let's see. Let's see what ideas we have. Let's see. Okay, the first one I have is... Uh, Okay, the first one I have is personal, a uh, personal story video. In other words, you want to do a personal personal story. Uh, you want to talk about uh, your personal life, what you've been through over the years. You know, share what you want to share. It don't have to always be, uh, you know, you don't have to really get all the way down deep and personal if you don't want to. But, you know, a personal story. People love to see. People love to see uh, videos like that. You know, where you started from. You started from the bottom. How did you get to where you are? People like to see stories like that. I, me, myself, I would love to see a story like that, too. I want to see, you know, if you just look at a successful person, you wonder how did you get started? How much did it take a lot of money? Uh, did it take a lot of drive? Uh, determination? to you know what how did you get to where you are how did you get there how did you get here you know so that's a good um that's a good uh idea right there so it says uh personal personal a personal story video okay let's see what we have next uh then the next one we have is a product product review idea so if you have a product and you want to review it in other words, you uh, you can be you can be reviewing a product product from your own your company, or it could be your product, or it could be another company's product product. So you know, a lot of companies want you to uh, review their products, and they give you free products and everything. So that's something I would love to get into too. Product review. So a product review. In other words, you say that you already have a YouTube channel. And, you know, you have a product that you are, you know, you have your business. You have your business and you are outlining your business on a lot of your videos. You know, you let people see how you package your products. Letting people see how you uh, take your orders. Just what you do on a day-to-day -day basis in your business. You know, uh, how you take your orders, how you package your orders, how you, uh, in other words, if you you selling uh, bundles and wigs, you know, how you make a wig. Show you how to show show you know your YouTube channel channel how you put your wigs together how you sew your wigs on your mannequins how you do that how you bag up your uh, bundles and then you can also sell um in your business you selling 
uh, styler kits. In other words, you you making wigs and selling bundles and all your hair products for your business, and you want to sell styler kits. You show show on your video how you package your styler kits. You know you have your bundles, you have your uh, your pins and your you know whatever little small uh, items you can get in a styler kit. So somebody else might want to do the same thing you're doing and start their business. So a starter kit, you can sell those when you're on your video channel, on your YouTube channel, you show how you package your starter kits. Uh, show how you come up with your, you know, last time they don't show, well, I mean, I guess you can show your, you know, how you come up with your prices for certain items in your business. I mean, whatever you want to display, you know, I'm just giving an example. Whatever you want to display in your business, on your channel. So in other words, a uh, uh, product review, that's the second one. It could be, like I said, your business or somebody else's business. I wouldn't mind uh, reviewing, uh, you know, other businesses' products because um, that's a way that they are getting exposure and you are getting exposure as well. Let's see what the third one is. Uh, and this one is a comedy, comedy sketch video. A comedy sketch video. And you can do a comedy sketch. Is, it's like, you know... Basically, an acting, an acting scene video. You can do an acting scene video, a comedy sketch video, whatever kind of video you want to do. But then you want to be consistent because if you have an idea of doing a comedy sketch video, then um, what will you do? You got to know how to build on that. You know, you do a comedy sketch video, then, you, then you'll be asking yourself, how do I build on that? How do I build on that? What do I do, do next? What kind of, what type of video would I create next? Comedy sketch video. Uh, well, I guess you would, you know, be consistent. Do more comedy videos, more comedy sketch videos. And then if you can, sometimes you can incorporate your friends and your family in some of your videos. So you got cousins, you got aunts and uncles, your sisters and brothers, you know, mother, your father, whoever. You know, say, look, I got this video, this comedy sketch. I want to put these people in here. I want to put these in, people in here on this one, this day, and this, these people on the next day. And, you know, be creative, be unique. So the idea is, you know, uh, with a business uh, degree, you know, I always know that it's good to be unique. You can be selling. A lot of people say, oh, the market is saturated, saturated. Everybody saying, selling the same thing, everybody doing the same thing. But, you can be selling the same thing, but you could be going about yours differently. You could be marketing and advertising and promoting your business different than somebody else. And somebody else doing with their business. So and it's just like I was told before, you know, even a younger generation, I listen to them. I look at a lot of YouTube channels. One young lady was like, look, uh, if you, um, people say, people may say the market is saturated, you know, everybody's selling, everybody's selling bread. So... <coughs> It's the same thing. Everybody's selling bread. You got Kmart. <coughs> you got Kmart. Target, Walmart. You got a lot of convenient, uh, convenient corner stores. Mm -hmm. They're selling bread. But the thing is, you're going to sell yours differently. You want to be unique. You want us to have your store set up different. You want to offer different things that another store may not be offering. I mean, because you can't, uh, me, my opinion, I don't want to just say, oh, I ain't going to sell this because somebody else selling the same thing I'm selling. No. I'm I, I'm here to make my channel unique. And that's what I set out to do. I set out to make my channel unique, and that's what I want to do. So, you know, my channel is called the Cheryl Hubbard Show because I want to offer, I want to display all kinds of things on my channel, whatever comes to my mind on a daily basis. I mean... Business, I have business ideas. My degree is business administration, Strayer University, and information systems, Strayer University. So I have different ideas on a daily basis. So uh, I used to market uh, this right here, paparazzi jewelry. Paparazzi jewelry. So a lot of people were doing that too. And I heard you know, uh, my cousin was even saying, because I, I was telling her about, you know, you should market some of this paparazzi jewelry. It's a good way to get into, step into business. Uh, she's like, no, nah, I don't want to sell that because everybody up here where I live at, they selling it. I said, yeah, but if you can market and advertise, market and advertise and promote yours in a different way, you don't know what may come out of it. They got 50 states. There's 50 states out here. It used to be 50 or 52. I know they had it too, Alaska and Hawaii, but they said 
My last day in Hawaii in the United States. So that's what I learned too. But in high school, they tell you, oh yeah, we got 50 states and two Aladdin. But you gotta realize that Alaska and Hawaii are not states. So that's 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 what that you know. So um, so you know. So let's see what the next one is. Um. Uh, the next one is the last one. The next one is list. So it says list. An intriguing list is always a draw for browsers of YouTube. Excuse me. And if it's well presented, viewers are more likely to stay until the end. These YouTube video ideas are often structured as top five, top ten, or even top top fifty lists relating to some of some of a YouTuber's favorite topics. Offer a detailed explanation about why you ordered your list in a certain way and to tell you how to create a list. So in other words, you can have a list. Uh, that's a good idea. You know what? I'm, I'm glad I'm going over this because what about a list about all the top top 10, say about the top 10 cars. The top 10 cars for the year with the best, you know, the best, um, what all I would say, uh, the best or the least expensive. It could be, you know, whatever kind of list you want to make for your cars. Top 10 list of cars. Uh, everything. Uh, uh, low on gas mileage. Uh, low on gas. Uh, low on price. A good price. Uh, a car that would last for a long time. I mean, a good quality car. A good quality car. Low on gas. Low on mileage. You know, all the good things about a car. The 10, a list of 10. So, and also you can have a list of, um, what about uh, these bundles here? You know, a list, a uh, hundred, a hundred um, top ten uh, black-owned hair businesses that sell, uh, you know, say twenty-six to thirty, thirty-six-inch bundles. You know, something. You know, whatever list you want to create. You got a list of cars, list of houses, list of uh, hair, uh, a list of. Um, Lamps, list, list of radios, uh, list of, uh, you know, glasses, sunshade, uh, you know, wh whatever, you know. And then you can have a list of, uh, what about a list of the top top 10 stores that you can shop for groceries? The top, a list of the top 10 stores that you can shop for clothes, you know, for a reasonable price. So, you know, so the list. So let's do the next one. And um, and then they tell you how to create a list as well. It says pick a subject that you're comfortable talking about, and share your passions and and uh opinions with the world. So pick a topic that when it comes to the list, pick a topic that you are passionate about and share your thoughts to the world right on your YouTube channel. So um oh another one. The next one is uh unboxing. Do an unboxing video. Unboxing you, you know, somebody's birthday. And also, right, somebody's birthday, you can video the whole birthday party. Video, video uh, you or whoever birthday it is, video them while they're unboxing all their pre presents. Or Christmas time, you might want to unbox. I did an unboxing video for Christmas too. So I'm going to be doing some more of those too as well. So I'm glad I'm doing this right here because I need... I need to know these myself, so that's why I said research is good. So, um, unboxing, that's a good one. Uh, tutorials. Tutorials. So, um, you know, you can do a tutorial of how, I did one of how to, you know, how I put my ponytail on, so that would be a good tutorial. A tutorial on how you do put your makeup on or put you know you want to practice on somebody else that's a tutorial you know put your makeup on put somebody else's makeup on that is good so and i did one for my ponytail so the next one is uh vlog ideas vlog ideas so um you want to vlog about your personal life you want to vlog about um your time in college, you want to vlog about, uh, you know, whatever you want to vlog is, is educational information that you want to share with the world on your YouTube channel. 
Okay, let's see what the next one is. Uh, challenges. Uh, video on challenges. What challenges uh, have you encountered? What challenges have you encountered? What challenges have you encountered in the world? You know, uh, what challenges have you did you encounter when you was in college? When you were in college? And you know, it depends on what chat you know, what challenges you want to, uh, you know, um, what challenges you had to go through when you did a certain thing. You know, you went to college, you were trying to buy a house. What challenges did you encounter when you tried to buy your first house? You tried to buy your first car. What challenges did you encounter? So that is a good video. So I know, um, uh, we went to try to get a house, I mean a car one time, we tried, one time we were trying to get a house, I mean a car, me and my husband, and so he told us that uh, we had to pay, we had to put uh, 3500 down, so you know, to me that was a challenge, because I'm like, you know, why would you have to put that much money down and uh, for a car that was like $10,000? Mm-hmm. So that would be a challenge to me. I would say that that could have been a challenge because that would have been, I would have started from the bottom. From everything leading up to before we even got to the car dealership. And then we went to try to get this house. That was, that was a challenge. So, you know, whatever challenge you have that you might want to, you know, on your channel. So, and the next one is uh, pranks. Pranks. Uh, videos of pranks, uh, you know, you pranking somebody. I've seen some videos of some, uh, some gentlemen doing some pranks, so those are real funny. So those are good to do, uh, pranks, but I'm not into pranks, but that's a good idea for, yeah, it depends on what you are in the market for, I might say, you know, what type of videos are you in the market for? So we have to treat this like a business. I try to think about it as my business. I'm trying to build my brand. I'm trying to build my channel. I, I look at it as my business, my brand. So I want to create good quality videos. And I want to bring information to you that you can, you know, something you can do something with. I don't want to bring information that's uh, outdated and ain't nothing you can do nothing with. You know, I want my channel. You know, I'm just working my way up. So I'm doing my best. All I'm going to do my daggone best. So that's all I'm going to do. And um, so let's see what the next one is. Um, they got par parodies. Find celebrities, politicians, movies, or songs that people are familiar with and do a parody of them. If your subject matter is well known, it will strike a chord with your audience. Plan the scenario that you want to act out and get your friends on board to help you out. It's important to have a good idea of what you want to film before you start. Uh, Try to keep your parody short and to the point. If your video runs too long, viewers that are unfamiliar with your channel may be put off watching. So, it's a parody. So, find celebrities, politicians, movies, or songs that are familiar with, with you are familiar with and, and do a parody of them. So, let me, I guess, parody portray. I guess, find a parody, parody, I guess, um, uh, Find a celebrity that you, you know, that you've been following, that you're interested in, that you think that's very uh, fascinating, enlightening, um, and do a parody, a parody of them. I never did a parody video, so, you know, I guess you, you're probably displaying on your channel something about that, that celebrity or that, that, uh, that person, you know, you know, or they say it could be a movie. Movies or songs that people are familiar with. So do a parody of a movie. Do a parody of a movie or song uh, about a celebrity or a celebrity or a politician that you're familiar with. So that that's good because that will put people on point with knowing that you, you know, because people always want to me, um, me anyway. I know I do, but most people want information. They want to know about things. You know, sometimes you want to learn things without going out there doing research on your own. And because it's just like, because, you know, when we all, uh, just like when we watch uh, Wendy Williams show, we want that information on how people live, how they live on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, singers, actors, politicians, everybody. You want to be able, you want a, a glimpse into their life, into their world. 
So, and it would be good if they would be able to get a glimpse into our world, somebody that's less fortunate, you know, say, let them see what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, what they find out probably would be no different. We just do it with less money, but, you know, but we, uh, we, we, we love, we love to do, uh, things, you know, some, the same things everybody else like to do. So it really don't matter how much money you have. So we all like good food. We all like to be around family and friends. We all like to sit down and eat a nice meal and talk. And we all, a lot of us like nice clothes. All of us, a lot of us like nice clothes. We like to keep our hair neat. Nice, nice clothes, nice jewelry. So we find that, you know, a lot of ways we are pretty much the same. So, you know, parody. Never did a parody before, but, you know, that's an idea. Uh, see. And, uh, oh, this is a good one. Uh, interviews. Interviews are good. But see, with this coronavirus going around, uh, so I, was, I wanted to do some video, uh, some video interviews on my channel, but maybe in the future I will... Uh, do some, uh, you know, maybe in the future I'll do some video, some video interviews, but right now, you know, so that's a good one, interviews, it's, uh, you know, Jada Pickett has her round table talk, so, you know, very inspiring, w women out here today doing the thing, doing the daggone thing, you know, as my teacher would say, you doing the daggone thing, <laughs> I was down at Fred University, and, um, my, uh, my business ethics teacher, he was like, you doing the daggone thing. Because I went down there and got my personal, I had to get a personal, um, not a personal, but I had to get an academic. I needed an academic recommendation from him so I can apply for the PhD program uh, that I was in, entering into Capella University. So I didn't, I didn't finish the program, but I did do, you know, most of the courses. So I completed about probably like, I would say probably more than, a little more than half of the program, but uh, he was like, you're doing the dang one thing. So I had to go to him and he did the personal recommendation for me. So I appreciate that, Dr. Jewel, Dr. Jewel, uh, down Strayer University. Uh, so very good teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, but, um, would like to know, I guess he would like to know that I did, I did, well, I guess he know that. In order, to find, found, in order to apply for a PhD program, you had to do the, you had to finish your master's. So you did your bachelor's and your master's, and you know, a PhD would be the next one up, you know. But let's see what's next. Uh, a response video. Okay, a response video. Somebody, somebody made a comment about your video. Somebody made a comment about your video, you want to do a response video, uh, right back at you, you know. So, let them know, you know. Somebody made a video, um, I mean, somebody, no, they didn't make a video, but somebody came on my, um, uh, what do you call it, um, my message. I think it was, no, no, my, uh, what do you call it, uh, up here. I forgot what they called it up there. Oh, what was it, what's that, um, notifications. Somebody came in. Somebody came in on my notification. It was a gentleman, and he was like, you know, he came off kind of harsh. You know, he was like, well, the way you teaching, blah blah blah, because I did my, you know, because I did my little accounting, uh, I did my little accounting um, uh, tutorial. So he came off and said, well, you know what, the way you teaching, blah 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 blah. You need to look at some other people's videos, and uh, you uh, you probably don't even have a, you probably don't even have a. I know he said you're probably using a cheap camera, and yes, yeah, what he said. He said you're probably using a cheap camera, and you need to look at some other people's videos, and just going off like that, you know. And then you need to bring your uh, blackboard close to the cam camera because I can't see because the way you're teaching, blah blah blah. And you're probably using a cheap camera, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, uh, those type of people you need to block. But I appreciate, you know. But if you have a Criticism for somebody, constructive criticism, you don't have to come off like that, you know, so the response video was what I didn't do, but I guess this is just, you know, this is not a response video, but, so, you know, he would probably see this video, maybe, but, you know, so, he said, you know, maybe you need, 
uh, you need to bring the blackboard closer to the to the to the camera. But you know, I found out that all the time, all I had to do was turn on more. All I had to do was turn on more lighting, and now my videos are much clearer. So sometimes you don't have to come off at people uh, rude like that. You can just you know constructive criticism, tell people things that you want them to know in a nice way. That's why the world's so messed up today because. People come off wrong, you come off wrong, you know, come off, I don't mind, because you tell me uh, I'm doing something wrong, or, you know, you could did this, and it could have been better, but I, I appreciate that, but when you come off telling me, oh, yeah, you know what, you're probably using a cheap camera, you know, I don't like that too, cool. I wouldn't have came off on you like that, you know, I wouldn't have came off on you like that. So, let's see what the next one is. So, a response video, that would be good. Uh, it said response video gives you the opportunity to get new traffic from viewers of a more popular video. And the next one is a tour. You want to give a tour, tour of your house. You just bought a new house. You bought a new car. You give somebody a tour of your house, your car, your backyard, your garage. Somebody get a tour just of your, you know, whatever you want to give somebody a tour of, you know. You could be a... Uh, Say this and you're a real estate uh, broker, you're a real estate yeah, person and you show houses. You can, you can have all that on your YouTube. You know, I don't know if that can be allowed, but uh, you can have a, a tour of a house that you're trying to, I mean, I figure if you're trying to sell those houses, I don't see what problem, but why that would be a problem. If you're trying to sell those houses and you want to put them on the market, why not put them on your YouTube channel? Tour of this house. This is a house that's such and such, blank, blank, blank. This is the room, this is the bathroom. The bedroom, kitchen, basement, whatever, you know. So, tour. Tour videos are great videos. So, um, let's see what we have next. Uh, and say time, time lapse. A time lapse can reveal a little detail about a scene that would not be noticeable in a standard video. Uh, many cameras these days have a setting that can record a time lapse. Time lapse very efficiently. However, if you have to record your time lapse manu manually, you don't have to carefully consider factors such as the shot duration and the interval between photos. Uh, and it says, set up your camera in an interesting space where there's lots of activity. If you manage to capture something fascinating happening, viewers might be enticed to watch. So, if you manage to uh, catch, capture something that's fascinating on your time lapse video, that would be good. Mm -hmm. uh, like I've seen some videos uh, on the news. Uh, one, I think I don't know. I guess it was this lady. She spotted a bear in the back. You know, a bear in the backyard. So that was on video. So you know, time lapse. You know, whatever time lapse video you want to. You know, make a part of your uh, YouTube channel. Right, let's see what the next one is. Question and answer. A Q and A. Cre creating a Q and a, Q and a video should should not be your first YouTube video, but can be a very effective YouTube video idea to introduce after you built some up some interest in your channel. So in other words, if you, if you already build up some interest in your channel, so they saying that it shouldn't be your first video, uh, Q&A. Uh, I mean, I, I probably, I guess I built, I guess really I have not built up enough interest in my channel, but a Q&A channel, a Q&A video would be something that I would think about for the future. Because uh, I could probably do a Q&A on, uh, you know, how to start a business. How you start your business, you know, start your already from uh how you get your business license what that cost and all the steps from that you know your business license your occupancy permits your online presence your uh whatever you need for your business your inventory your you know your strategy your business plan first of all you share your business plan business plan slash marketing plan then what next steps you going to take to get your license you know how many licenses do you need Cause a lot of times you're gonna need a business license. You're gonna need to pick your name, your business name. Then you're gonna need your um, uh, you're gonna need your business name. Then you're gonna need your um. So you're gonna need your business. You're gonna need your marketing plan, your uh, your marketing plan, your business plan. 
your business name, you want to know how you want to talk or market, advertise and promote who, who's going to be including your target market. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, licenses. You need to operate. You might need a, you might need a license just to pick your name. Cause I know when I started my business, they had they said you had one. You need a license. You had to pay for the license just to pick the business name. Then they said I would have to have an uh, operating uh, license. You know, so they said we don't know how many other licenses you may need. So we're gonna charge you. You know, because legal Zoom was doing it. They did it. They were charging me six hundred something dollars just. And that was just for them to pick the name. And then the devil for them to pick the name. I mean, I picked the name actually for me to claim the name, put a hold on that name. And then they had me, um, then they had, they was trying to pay another company $90 to, that was included in the 600. So legal zoom included in their $600, $90 where they were paying another company to do research in my state to see what, uh, other licenses I needed for my business. I'm like, I could have did that myself. I didn't need you to add, put that in that $600 and have them, um, uh, you know, charge me $90, uh, included in the 600 and something that you would charge me just to get my business license. And I thought that, that would be all that it would have took. Now see, but then they told me after you pay the 600, you still might need two or three more licenses. And we had uh, hired this other company so they can look, uh, check out your state, do the research, and consumer, you know, down consumer regulatory affairs and see what other type of licenses you need. I'm like, you know what? That's just too much. That's just beating people out their money. Well, I'm going to pay you 600 or something just to pick, just to uh, put claim on the name of my business. And then I need two or three other licenses, which would cost me uh, three or four more hundred dollars just to operate, you know, operating license. And then after that, I still had to get inventory. And then, you know, then you had to make sure, you know, so, you know, I said, well, next time around, I rebrand, I rebrand, uh, change the name of my business and all of that. And, you know, my whole line of inventory and I will go through consumer regulatory affairs right here in Washington, D.C. or wherever I'm living, you know. But to have them do all that, it's just too much. It was just too much money. So, like I said, you have to, you know, so question and answers. That would be a good video, too, I could do. Excuse me. Uh, that would be a good video I can do on as you know, starting a business and becoming licensed and legal and all that. So, there's so many videos, you know. Uh, so, that was real good. It was very... Uh, La la, my la la. So let's see. Uh, and then another video, uh, rant. So a rant, a YouTube rant is not something you should have to think long and hard about. If you've been, if you've been around enough, you'll be easily able to rant about the subject in question. So in other words, you got a problem. You had a problem with something, you know. You had a problem with something that you you know you want to rant about you know you want to explain to the people why that made you mad or why you think that they shouldn't go about it the way you went about it why you would do things differently and how they can do things differently you know i mean that's good but i wouldn't you know i don't think i would do a rant video but a rant video you know some people would do one uh animal videos you can do animal videos uh you have any puppies, you know, uh, dogs, puppies, pit bulls, or, you know, whatever, you know. Animals, they say, they say videos of animals doing funny or unusual things uh, make up a significant portion of viral content on YouTube. Your pets must, your pets might just be the right candidates for such a video. I mean, pets and babies and kids, I think they're, you know, so creative. Uh, then we have uh, educational, educational, uh, share your knowledge of a subject with an educational YouTube video. Educational videos uh, could be uh, educational videos can be of any subject. Uh, it says, but make sure it's relevant to the audience you are trying to reach. Offer an entertaining way for your viewers to learn. You can ask them to submit suggestions in the comment section about topics they like you to focus on. That's what I do a lot of times. I always say, you know. Comment below, subscribe below, you got it, you have any ideas, because this is the Cheryl Hubbard Show, 
this is the Cheryl Harvey show and I want to uh, you know just a show you know of uh, everything you know you got any, you have any ideas any ideas you will need me to talk about don't mind talking about it you have any products you want me to share or review for you comment below subscribe below and I'll put my email down below so but I don't have a YouTube I don't have a um post office box yet but I can get one once I know if I, I know they need to be getting one, unless I know that, uh, you know, unless I know that, you know, I'll be needing it because I don't want to pay, uh, uh, pay for a post office box and pay that fee every month if I, if I'm not going to use it, you know, because my mail can usually come right here to my house, but I, I, <clears throat> what I'm saying is if you have any products you want me to review, you know, you know, uh, Comment below, send me an email, and, you know, subscribe below, send me an email, let me know, say, hey, look, I have some products I want you to review, you know, you know, put your email down below, and, you know, we'll work it like that. So, you know, for any video, so the next one, uh, tips, you have, uh, you have, you can do a video on tips, you have tips on how somebody can get into college, you know, how somebody can start a business. Tips on how somebody can buy a house with no money down, how they can get a car at a good deal, where they can get a car at a good deal. Tip on, you know, uh, tip on a relationship or whatever kind of tip you have for somebody. That's a good video. Uh, let's see what we have next. Uh, discussions. Start a thought-provoking discussion to get people talking on YouTube. Introduce an engaging topic and ask for people's opinion in the comment section. So introduce a, introduce a topic and get... Introduce a topic, interesting topic, and get people talking. That'd be a good video too. Uh, draw, draw my life. Uh, it says, uh, draw my life videos involve YouTubers telling a simplified version of their life, of their life stories in the form of drawings. Uh, hey, draw some pictures about how your life, what your life is centered around, what. What, what's interesting about your life that you might want to share with in a video? Uh, things to do. Yeah, video of things to do. You know, when YouTube when YouTube users get bored, they'll be looking for new things to do. If your channel can provide interesting ideas for them, it'll it'll pique their curiosity. You could create a title. You create a title. You could create a title that specifically I'll add this to those who. Re to those who view your video, such as 10 things to do when you're bored. Oh yeah, things to do. 10 things to do when you're bored. And so they say you can highlight a video like that too. That's a good idea. 10 things to do when you're bored. 10 things to do to learn how to ride a bike. 10 things to do to learn how to drive a car. 10 things to do uh, before you go out on a date. Uh, 10 things to do before you go to the prom. 10 things to do... Um, you know, 10 things to do before you start cooking dinner, 10 things to do to cook this dinner, you know, uh, what, you know, whatever you, but the, the, the title is things to do, things to do, mm -hmm. things to do before I move into my new apartment, you know, things, what do I have to do, I gotta clean up this place, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta blah, 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 before I move in, uh, shoot videos are one of the most foolproof YouTube video ideas it will always be popular among a wide range of viewers. Capture your baby, capture your baby, uh, sibling or pet doing something adorable, adorable, and post it on YouTube for your subscribers to watch. Uh, your baby doing something adorable, your little sister, your little brother, somebody doing something adorable, and you post it. You know, put it on your, you know, your your YouTube video. Uh, life life hacks. Uh, life can be tough sometimes. So anything that can help make it a little bit easier would be much appreciated by your audience. Videos with lists of different life hacks are hugely popular, and many have tens of millions of views. Maybe you have some life hacks that you've been using. Maybe you have some life hacks you've been using for years, uh, but never, but never shared. Now is the time uh, to share them. Life hacks. Life can be tough sometimes. So, you know, life hacks, things that you've been through in life that you want to show, share, you know, on your YouTube. Uh, tag videos. 
I never did a tag video. Uh, this category of YouTube video idea involves one channel tagging another and requesting that they post a certain video or complete a particular challenge. There are so many uh, tag videos that you could do. Get your friend to challenge you or even just do a tag video without getting challenged. Some challenges. Some possible tag YouTube video ideas include guilty pleasures tag, my love story tag, mom tag, birthday tag, and makeup tag. Oh, you can do some tag videos, man. Um, makeup uh, tag. Uh, they said makeup tag, birthday tag, uh, mom, mom tag, birthday, makeup, whatever kind of tags you want. You know, you can do a video right on your channel. Uh, let's see, An animations videos, uh, custom custom animations uh, are a really cool way to, to uh, tell a story. Uh, designing an animation based on something topical and or humorous is great for engaging with viewers. Uh, uh, comparison videos, you know. Comparison videos are helpful for YouTube. Uh, YouTubers, YouTube users want to find out information about competing products before they purchase one of them. Yep. So, you know, you want to find out about competing products before they purchase one. So, you know, you want to get to a different point. Uh, comparison videos are helpful for YouTube YouTube users who want to find out information about competing products before they purchase one of them. Uh, give viewers a good insight. Give viewers a good insight into what each product offers. So, in other words, uh, that, this would be a good video. Um, you know, in other words, even dealing with makeup, you know, you do a research on different companies and do a video of those different companies and that way people can see, uh, that's why I would like to have the, the products. So if I did a video like that, I want to be able to show the different products that each company offers. So that way you can see what they offer and the quality of what they offer and that way when you get ready to purchase, then they can see, you know, the difference because they have a visual, they'll be able to visualize the product. So it says, uh, you can compare two products or multiple products on your video. A good idea is to give the products a rating at the end of the video that makes your opinion of them clear. So in other words, you got different products you, uh, that you're comparing on your video, and then you'll be able to rate them at the end and say, why do you like this one over this one? It, it could be a, it could be some, it could be juice or a food product, or it could be hair, makeup, you know, it could be food or juice, or it could be a lamp, it could be furniture, whatever. That would be good. I mean, I might think about a, a video like that. Then that's good. And another one is um, showcase your talents. If you have an amazing talent, skill, or ability, uh, a great YouTube video idea could be. Uh, to showcase that, that that to all of your subscribers. Dancing videos, football skills, and singing videos are all very popular among YouTube audiences. However, even if your talent is a bit more obscure, viewers may still be interested in seeing it. In fact, having a talent that is highly unusual is likely to get even more attention. Uh, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes video. So these are Ideas for your YouTube uh, channel videos. Uh, go behind the scenes and show your subscribers how you prepare for your videos and record them. I did a, a video on how, how I pick my beats for my, my video, for my songs. Highlight all the processes involved in making high quality content and give them advice on how they can produce their own videos. Daily routine. What is your daily routine? What is your daily routine? Uh, you get up in the morning, you know, uh, you wash your face and hands, take a shower. I mean, you wouldn't take nobody in the shower, but then, you know, you, uh, cut the cameras off. Uh, maybe, you know, the next step maybe to, uh, you know, fix breakfast, clean up, you know, clean out your cabinets, uh, vacuum your floor. You know, if you want to highlight all, highlight all that on your, you know, on your video. So, in other words, daily routine. And the next one is, uh, 
you want to do a celebrity gossip video, you know, talk about the different celebrities, that would be a good video. But you have to go do your research and write it all down. I see a lot of those, you know, gossip videos. But see, I'm the type of person, I don't want to say nothing negative about nobody. So if I did a gossip video, you know, I would be saying something nice. I don't want to be like, you know, Wendy Ram show or some of those other talk shows that talk negative about people. If I do some celebrity gossip, it'll be, I would find some good stuff to say about people, you know, because that's just me. But uh, celebrity gossip video. So these are some good video ideas. These are some ideas that I would be definitely thinking about myself. Uh, business intro. That's a good video. See, YouTube video ideas for business. Uh, promote your business on YouTube. Yep, that's what I was saying. Uh, promote your business on YouTube with a custom-made business intro video. Describe in detail what type of business you are and give some background info. Clearly display your company logo and uh, company tagline at some point in the video so viewers can make an association with the brand. That's something to think about. Your, make your video look professional. It's essential to make your business intro look professional as the first impression viewers get from it will be the standard you're judged on. Uh, customer testimonial videos. So these are all business videos. So in other words, you run your business. Customer testimonial video, uh, that would be good. Uh, it says introducing customer testimonials to your YouTube channel is one of the most effective YouTube ideas for getting new customers. Customer testimonials are often a uh, more reliable way to attract new customers than self-promotion. Uh, product launch videos, I'm just going to read through this. Collaboration YouTube videos, uh, promote an event with video, you want to promote an event. Let's say, fancy, you got a pop up shop. You're selling, uh, you know, like those pop up shops they had for the uh, coronavirus. They had, you know, because those masks are hard to find. So, pop up shops, um, you know, pop up shops for, well, you know, whatever you want to have a pop up shop for. You know, a pop up shop. Mm hmm. Pop-up shops for whatever you want to have a pop-up shop for, you know. Yeah, say for instance, you are in retail, pop-up shop for maybe say for, you know, clothing items, t-shirts, jewelry. You know, I wouldn't mind having a pop-up shop. You know, that would be a good idea. Uh, then we have a uh, show off your app with YouTube video. Feature your app in a YouTube video to get your audience interested in using it. This should be a key part of your app promotion strategy. In other words, you're a business. You have an app that you created and uh, make an attractive video that displays your app logo, explains what it does and how it benefits uh, users. Uh, provide a link in the description to the Google Play Store or the, or the App Store uh, that provides users with an easy way to discover and download the app. So in other words, that's good. Uh, launch a competition. Use YouTube to launch a competition and encourage viewers to share your video on social media. Competitions are a fantastic way of getting engagement from your audience. So I'll launch a competition video. Give business advice. So I have, you know, I did a video on business advice too. Your, if your business has been around for quite some time, giving business advice can be a very good YouTube video idea. Mm hmm Introduce your team videos. One of the more lighthearted business related YouTube video ideas is to give your subscribers a behind the scenes look at the company. You got a company you're running. You want to give, you want to, you know, you want to bring out to the forefront you know, all your team members that work for your company. Introducing your team gives you the chance to showcase your work culture. Um, share your sense of humor and boost brand awareness. And building your brand, you know, and you're showing, you know, giving them behind the scenes look. Uh, YouTube ideas for fashion and beauty. Uh, makeup tutorials, you know, those are very popular because I see a lot of people doing on makeup tutorials. Um, hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, favorite products, you know. In other words, you know, that's a good one. I might do something. I may, maybe I'll do one like that. Many famous YouTubers get paid to use certain makeup products, but there's plenty of demand for videos that show 
what people's genuine favorite products are. I mean, I don't wear makeup, but I'm sure I like to, you know, uh, you know, display on my channel, you know, maybe some, uh, maybe some skincare products like lotions and different things like that. Dive into your makeup bag and show off the products that that you can always allow on to get you looking for, or get you looking your best. Uh, clothes tips. You got tips on some nice pro, uh, nice clothing uh, items, and where you can buy them from. You know, you have Target, uh, Walmart, Target, Kmart, uh, Macy's. You know where, uh, Saxon Avenue, uh, whatever store. You know that you know you want to display their you know their clothing items. That'll be a good video. You have some items that you purchase. You know. I say, do you have an uncanny knack for knowing what goes with what? You know, how you matching up clothes, you know, you know, you got this shirt, this shirt matches with this pant, these pants, uh, this, these shorts match with this shirt better, and then put this necklace on with it. I mean, you know, men, men clothing items too. How you, are you good at matching up, you know, men clothes, women clothes, children, children clothes. So that would be a good video too, giving people tips on how to match things up and, you know, where they can get bargains and deals from, you know, look at different categories of outfits in different videos or, spe or specialties in one particular style. For example, you could look at giving tips for summer dresses, uh, going out clothes, winter wear, etc. Show off your favorite clothes and tell everyone why you like them so much. Uh, also, make sure to give your subscribers a heads up as to where they can buy such stylish threads. As I said, yeah. Uh, fashion and beauty trends, keep an eye on the latest fashion and beauty trends, uh, and then discuss them in your YouTube videos. Yeah, keep an eye on the trends and let people know. That'll be good. That'll be something I can do too. Uh, let people know. See, I still have my Raku. So, in other words, so that's good. That would be a good, that would be a good one. Keep an eye on the fashion trend. Another one, reaction to your own makeup. I don't wear makeup, so don't look back uh, at your old makeup styles with regret. <clears throat> Use them as an opportunity to get new viewers while you might cringe at some of your previous looks. Uh, reaction videos can be hilarious YouTube video ideas and can potentially attract lots of views. Uh, what's in my makeup bag? You know, I know uh, Adrienne Ballon, she did one uh, about what's in her bag. That's a good one, too. So, you can just do one with, you can do one with saying, what's in my, my purse? You know, I'm going to the park. I'm going to the park today. I want to let y'all know what's in my bag. I'm going to the doctor's office. I'm letting you know what I put in my bag. I'm going to the zoo. I'm going to work. I'm letting you know what's in my bag. You know, so that's a good video. Uh, another one is a oh, makeup challenge. Take on a popular makeup challenge and feature it on yourself. Uh, YouTube channel, on your YouTube channel, some makeup challenge. A uh, YouTube video ideas that have proven popular include the No Mirror Challenge. Uh, it says YouTube, uh, YouTube video ideas that have proven popular include the No Mirror Challenge, Boyfriend Does Your... Boyfriend does your makeup, kids makeup challenge, and makeup and makeup under twenty dollars challenge. In other words, oh, and also you can do a makeup challenge. They said do a makeup challenge for under twenty dollars. Say hey, uh, these are the products that I purchased for under twenty dollars. So you could also do that for skincare items too. I, I purchased all these skincare products that were under twenty dollars, and they do everything I need them to do. And also. Uh, what about your clothing items? They had, say fifty dollars. Uh, I bought this whole outfit for less than fifty dollars, and you know people can see it and see that they are good quality items that look good, make you look good. So that's a good challenge too. And then uh, let's see, makeup do's and don'ts. Also, makeup do's and don'ts, and they can be clo uh, You can say uh, makeup do's and don'ts, and they can be clothes, clothes, clothes do's and don'ts. So in other words, if you have a uh, you have an outfit you want to put together, you can be like, look, you put this shirt, put a shirt on with it, you got a certain shirt, then you have a pair of pants, you're like, look, no, I wouldn't put that on with that, but I'll have, lay out different, lay out different shirts and different pair, different pants, in other words, you got three pair of pants laid out, three shirts, 
Let me say, look, I wouldn't wear this shirt with these pants, but I wear it with these pants. And I take this shirt and wear it with these pants over here. Or I have this dress, and I wouldn't wear it with these shoes, but I wear it with these shoes over here. You know, so that's a good one. They say makeup do's and don'ts, and it could be uh, outfit do's and don'ts. Outfit do's and don'ts, clothes do's and don'ts, and also your hair. I wouldn't wear my hair a certain way when I wear a certain outfit. And I would dress on like this. I probably wouldn't want to put my, I mean, I, I would still put my hand clasped, but I prefer it like this and this, this, this ponytail, you know. So it's the same, you know, whatever, you know, whatever do's and don'ts video you want to create. Makeup do's and don'ts, it could be all kind of, uh, you know, do's and don'ts. And let's see, skincare routine. What is your skincare routine when you get up in the morning? Makeup uh, haul. Uh, makeup haul videos are incredibly popular on YouTube. They involve YouTubers making large purchases of makeup and showing it off to their fans. What type of makeup products do you have in your bag, uh, in your makeup drawer? You know, that's a good video. Walk somebody through and say, I bought this here, I use this for this, I bought this at this store, I use this for this, and this works, I've been using it for such and such a time, you know. Gaming videos, we have, uh... Uh, highlight glitches in the games. You can show, show people the glitches in these games. You bought these little gaming. You like to deal with the games all the time. So you want to show just like when, you know, when a, when a new Apple uh, cell, uh, iPhone came out and they had glitches. So you have an iPhone. That would be a good video. Show everybody the glitches. And then also you can do a video of all the good things about the Apple phone. All what are the good things about the Apple phone? You know, you can security you can use your you know fingerprint to so your system will know your identity that no that way no they know it was it would be nobody else trying to get into your phone so that uh and then also the android phone so that's probably be something that i wouldn't mind doing too because uh maybe when i purchase my iphone i may do a an unboxing and then maybe i'll do a, a video showing you all the different features why I like the iPhone or what this feature is used for or why it's good, you know, because a lot of them feature, I mean, they're just like little computers, you know, it's like the little micro computers, so, you know, so these are some good, and walkthroughs, uh, ever been stuck on one level of a game that you just can't complete, many people uh, would say yes, so we'll get somebody on walkthrough, how you got, that's what I said earlier, how you get, when you start a game, how you uh, reach that point to this point, you know, walkthrough, uh, customization options, uh, character customization is all the rage these days. With game developers realizing a huge appetite for personalizing hairstyles, attire, attires, weapons, and equipment. While customization options have always been around, they have never been monetized to such a degree. Get in on the act of sharing your thoughts on different looks in some of your favorite games. So you can do a video about your favorite game. You know, I like uh, I like Grand Theft Auto. I like always liked all those games. But my sons had grew up, they grew up on those games. So I wouldn't mind doing a video of you know customization options on some of those video games. That would be good. <clears throat> Game of the year and a different genre. You know, what are the games of the year? So that would be a good video too. You know, do some research, find out uh, what are the best games to purchase for the year. What are the ones that's most popular that most people are, you know, uh, are using or playing. You know, what video games are more popular? And then you know, tell people where they can get them, where they can purchase them at, with the prices. Compare those prices to other video games that's less popular or even, you know, in the same, you know, so it's a lot, that's a, that would be a good video too. Um, let's see, uh, talk about old games, that would be a good video, compare your old game, video games to the new video games, do a, do a, do a video uh, about, you know, the video that was showcased. That would let the people know, hey, it's better to get, maybe it's better to get these old games as well as getting these new games, or it's better to just get the new games and don't worry about these old games, you know, old video games. So, <clears throat> it's a lot, you know, basically a comparison video. So, that would be considered a comparison. 
Uh, let's see. I believe that's all. I think that's all. Cause some of these are movie, movie videos. Uh, some of these, the rest of these are uh, your favorite movie. This one of your favorite movies. Everyone's chasing movies are different. So two individuals list individuals list of favorite movies uh, will rarely be the same. There are lots of different ways this type of content can be presented, including favorite movies from the 80s, favorite childhood movies, uh, favorite uh, sci-fi movies. Make your YouTube video uh, visually appealing by displaying iconic imagery, imagery from each movie that you speak about. So comparing movies, featured TV shows. Uh, let's see, this is basically movies, so I won't do the movies. I think this is all, uh, I think that's all. It's a whole lot of, but I'll put the website, I'll link the website down below so you can look at, uh, you can go and look at the rest of them, but I'm not going to name all of them. Okay, that's it. I'll put the link down below. So. I want to say, you know, thanks for joining me today, and so glad you can be here today, the Cheryl Hubbard Show, uh, so I'll put the link down below, and that way you can, but well, these are some, these were some good, uh, you know, YouTube ideas, YouTube video ideas, so these are some good YouTube video ideas. So like I said, uh, you know, videos, uh, unboxing, uh, unboxing, you know, you unbox Christmas time, you unbox birthday time, you know, your birthday, somebody in your family's birthday, your, your son and your daughter, you know. Uh, so, business ideas, it says, uh. Yep, your daily routine, your daily routine, your business ideas, uh, all kind of ideas, you know. So, I will put the link down below, so these, you know, these are good, you know, good video ideas. Tips, you want to do a video on tips, tips, all kind of tips. Tips on how to buy a house with no money down, how to buy a foreclosed home, how to buy a car, how to, how to get a good deal. How to not get beat out your money. <laughs> really? How to not get beat out your money when you go buy a house. Uh, when you go buy a car. I mean, a whole lot of tips. Uh, you know, tips of uh, things to do before you get married. You know, or, you know, tips whatever you want. You know, whatever tips you want on that video is tips that, you know, thing, if, you, if you run across some tips that you feel that's informative, you feel like you want to put them on a YouTube channel or on your YouTube, or a video, you know, on your YouTube channel. So, hey, go ahead and do it. But I want to say thanks for joining me today. I want to say thanks for joining me today, the Cheryl Hubbard Show. And to, I just presented some tips. Uh, and that's some tips. I, I presented some, um, you know, some ideas. Some ideas. Well, some tips, too, but some ideas. Uh, some ideas for your, you know, YouTube video. For your YouTube channel. So, and some of these ideas, I'm going to look over these. I'm going to put the link below. So, subscribe, comment. I'll put that link below. So, these are some great ideas. So, business, business. Everybody, when you look on YouTube, everybody's doing business. Teaching, teaching on there. You know, because I did my little accounting. I was accounting for real. I did my accounting tutorial. As a matter of fact, I just did a little tutorial uh, on yesterday's video where I did some uh, tutorial. I did a tutorial on uh, basic math. You know, just adding, subtraction, and you know, basic math problems. So I might do another one. Uh, that might I might do that on my next video. But uh, teaching class tutorials. Uh, you know, math, accounting, uh, business. Uh, let people know how you started your business, how you started from the ground up, and how you made, how you became successful. You know, because a lot of times we all look and see. We only see the end result. Uh, a lot of times we see the end result and we be like, oh, I can do that. But then once we get into it, we realize that it wasn't as easy as we thought it was. 
So, you know, you want to get on there, you know, business, you know, telling people how they can start a business, how you started from the ground up. Uh, you know, display your products. It's, you know, there's a lot of business uh, ideas on YouTube. I'm on YouTube every day looking at everybody's channels so I can, you know, a lot of these channels are very inspirational. So, very inspirational. So, no matter what age you are, so I am from an older group. But, you know, I am very, I am still very inspired by a lot of the videos that I see. And um, I do have a business degree, business administration, Spare University. So I will always be interested in business, running a business, starting a business, uh, working for a business, you know, no matter how old I get. So, you know, but uh, I choose to create my own business, so like I said, you know, earlier, I don't want to work for nobody, I mean, I tried that in the past, don't want to work for nobody, I don't want nobody all over my back telling me what to do, uh, you know, nine to five, you know, because sometimes you work for people and they don't, you can't even breathe, so, <laughs> you know, you can't get no air, they on your back, they watching everything you do, they monitoring their computers, so, you know, you know, they do have software they put on their, those uh, those work computers. They, they track every site that you go to. So, you know, so I always felt that I did, you know, I tried that in the beginning working for other people. But uh, if I can make a go at this and make, a, make it successful, then that's what I want to do. So, thanks for joining me today. Hope to see you again, back here again, same place, same time, same channel, the Cheryl Hubbard Show. And um, the Cheryl Hubbard Show, so trying to bring you great ideas, um, um, inspirational, enlightening. Uh, so, you know, if you have any ideas for me, comment below. If you have any ideas for me, comment below. Let me know. Give me some ideas of what, um, some ideas of what, you know, you would like to see me discuss on this channel. You know, don't mind. You know, give me some ideas. I don't mind doing some research. And um, I'm always up. And my my uh, interest mostly is business. Business or information systems. So, you know, you have any products you want me to review. So, uh, you're more than welcome to shoot me an email or comment below. Comment below with, you know, your idea. Shoot that idea to me. And, um, you know, your email or your, your contact information. You know, so I would love to do something like that. So, you know, I do things like that too for a fee, you know. But, you know, thanks for joining me today. So, I'm going to cut it off right here. And I hope to see you back here again. Same place, same time, same channel. The Cheryl Hubbard Show. And uh, you all have a good one.